Now, each infectious disease has its own specific signs and symptoms, but there's also general signs and symptoms common to a number of these diseases. So let's take a look at these and starting with a fever. A fever is sort of the, the, the telltale sign, correct? Correct. In what, in what capacity are we seeing fevers in infectious diseases? So with many sorts of infections, people have a fever. It's your body's way of fighting off some inflammatory process. Um, but you can have fevers with such a wide range of things. You mm -hmm. can have fevers with a common cold, and then you can right. have fevers with more severe infections as well. Uh, when is a fever a sign of concern? I mean, what what temperature are we looking at? So we really consider fever to be greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and I would say certainly persistent fevers okay. that aren't going away after a couple days or so, or don't uh, respond well to Tylenol or Advil. So it's almost like a 72 hour window. Is that true? Or Maybe, maybe even less. I mean, I think when taken in conjunction with other symptoms that someone right. might be having. Okay, another one on that list, diarrhea, fatigue. How are these related to infectious diseases? Um, so people can certainly have diarrhea with certain um, stomach viruses. They can have diarrhea with other sorts of infections as well. Um, and again, I think it is the degree of diarrhea and whether um, someone is able to keep up with their fluid intake, right. water intake, whether they feel dehydrated from it, really sh should push them one way or another in terms of seeking some medical attention. Now we have muscle aches and coughing, and sometimes you hear uh, people that, uh, say, feels like I got hit by a truck, because that muscle pain and you feel so bad, and that's associated with infectious Certainly, diseases. I mean, that's typically when people have influenza, a lot of times they'll say they have severe muscle aches, mm -hmm. their bodies just really run down, right. um, and, and it's not uncommon to feel that way.